check this out. It's a pretty interesting story. It says, Bannon, Marjorie Taylor Greene sees herself on the shortlist for Trump's VP. So Marjorie Taylor Greene did something really bizarre recently that really requires explanation. And so she's obviously a crazy QAnon extremist, right? Trump extremist. And so one would have expected her to be on the team of Matt Gates and against Kevin McCarthy because Matt Gates is also like the Trumpster, the crazy Trumpster, right? But for some reason, she ended up siding with Kevin McCarthy. And so the typical, you know, status quo explanation is, hey, like they didn't offer her any positions, but I don't think Kevin McCarthy offered her any positions, or at least that I'm aware of personally. Uh, but I don't know. It just didn't really seem kind of fishy a little bit, I would say. It doesn't really seem to be fully fleshed out. But it appears that uh, Steve Bannon, who was a successful uh, political strategist in 2016, he's no longer, I think, a successful political strategist. I think the strategy worked in the short term, that for four years, but that was it. Like, I think that that, sh- that four years of Donald Trump was is definitely going to get you eight years of Biden. And then who knows, and tons of congressional losses, and who knows what it's going to do in terms of how far is it going to go? Like how far are the loss is going to go? Because what you did was, is you destroyed the media, but now because you destroyed the media, nobody expects the media to question Joe Biden so he can be fumbling on all of his words and he can stay in the basement and nobody cares. Um, and so now we have the basement strategy. So it didn't really work. Um, and it was just too incendiary and it was too short term. So I don't think he's successful anymore, but he worked for that time. But anyways, Says former Trump White House strategist Steve Bannon has said Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene sees herself on the short list to be named former President Trump's running mate in 2024 bid in his 2024 bid to retake the Oval Office. This is no shrinking violet. She's ambitious. She's not shy about that, nor should she be. She sees herself on the short list for Trump's VP, Bannon told NBC News. When Green, quote, looks in the mirror, she sees a potential president smiling back, Bannon added. That's hilarious. An unnamed source in the NBC News piece concurred that Green's whole vision is to snag the second-in-command slot on Trump's ticket. The former president announces a bid, blah, blah, blah. An ardent Trump ally, Green endorsed Trump before even his official launch. Now, keep in mind also that Trump was actually the one who was telling them to actually support Kevin McCarthy because he wanted like a united Republican front. I think for him, it wouldn't have looked good for the fragmentation because the fragmentation would make him look weak. But I would say, again, like that's a great example of how he's not going to win in 2024. Uh, From a political science perspective, I would say there's pretty much a 0% chance that Trump is able to win again in 2024. It was a perfect storm in 2016, a perfect storm. I think I know for sure, even if he had ran against Biden, he would not have won, not even close. Uh, But it was just a perfect, perfect storm. There's no way he wins again. Um, And his his attempt at asserting his power and then failing to do so, I think, was just like a really great example of basically, uh, you know, how he has really lost his power grip. Um, So she she said last summer, she'd be honored to run alongside Trump in 2024, according to an insider article. The firebrand Georgia lawmaker boasted of having Trump on the line as she lobbied to get Representative Kevin McCarthy elected Speaker of the New House, calling him my favorite president. Quote, she's both strategic and disciplined. She made a power move, knowing it would run up hard against her most ardent crew. She was prepared to take the intense heat slash hatred short term for the long term goal of being a player, banned instead of green support for McCarthy. Green's name is among a number of people rumored to be under consideration, including Representative Elisa Stefanik and failed Arizona gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake. (laughs) Carrie Lake and and Marjorie Taylor Greene are basically jockeying for like the number one like Trump lackey position pretty much is what it seems like. Um, Since Trump hasn't indicated that a vice president uh, presidential announcement is imminent. He's notably turned away from his former vice president, Mike Pence, with whom he had a falling out surrounding their 2020 presidential election defeat. So this is pretty hilarious. I mean, she's obviously not going to be vice president. I don't even think Trump's going to pick her. She's just way too uh, crazy. But it is an interesting question, though, because it is like, who is Trump going to pick as his vice president? It's actually a really good question when you think about it. Is he going to go the Sarah Palin route where it's like, oh, John McCain's obviously going to lose. So, hey, fuck it. Let's just kind of throw something into the wind and see if it works. And it didn't. Um, It could be that kind of a situation because Trump, I just don't think, is going to win. I don't know how he's thinking about how the election is going to go, though. Does he think he's going to win? I don't really know. But anyways, with this whole situation with Donald Trump, it's kind of like, okay, who are you going to pick? You know, he obviously went with the Mike Pence, like the typical conservative guy uh, last time around. So is he going to go with MTG this time? Like, 
I really just I just don't think so. I don't think she's going to be VP. If she is VP, they're going to lose. But I mean, being the vice presidential candidate and losing in terms of if you're looking at political accomplishments, like that's a pretty big political accomplishment. I know we like laugh at presidential candidates for losing like Dukakis and people like that. But even just becoming the nominee from a standpoint of like a rubric of uh, political success, that's huge political success to even make it there. So if she's really motivated by that, which I guess is what she is, she's a big grifter. Um, I think that's what it is. And so honestly, this also makes me question how much she actually believes in anything. I know a lot of right wingers are just grifters. Um, but how much of what she said, crazy stuff that she says she believes as opposed to just doing it because she thinks it's going to get her support. So um, pretty likely she's a pretty hefty grifter, right? But uh, let me know your thoughts on all this down below.